In fact, all Islamic governments, all Islamic countries, they kill Muslims nonstop. You know, there is a reason, by the way. The American, they went to Iraq, and then they want the Iraqi to have a legitimate government election. So they want to have election, okay, they do have election, we have election, and then the election is what? The election, they elect, they elect a terrorist. Those stupid Americans, they think those countries, they can survive if they have a person, a president who isn't a dictator. Those countries cannot survive without a dictator. Dictator is the only solution. The second they notice that the president or the government are weak, the killing machine will start. Cities will go upon cities. Town will go upon towns. Shia will kill Sunni. Sunni will kill Shia. They will kill Christian. They will kill everybody. This is why in the Middle East, having a dictator is a must. The stupid Western took them century to learn that this is not Europe. Those are savage people. It is reality. They are my people. You told them democracy, they will kill. The stupid Western, they decide to give democracy to Libya. Go and look what we have in Libya. Oh, we will take al Qazafi. He is a dictator. We want to have election. Good luck with the election. Now, Libya is killing Libya nonstop for the last 10 to 15 years. The same they did with Syria. Oh, Syria is a dictator. We need to replace the Syrian president. Eh, good luck with Syria now. Syria now become many Syria. Syria ISIS, Syria Al-Qaeda, Syria Kurdish, Syria Alawi, Syria Shia, Syria Iran, Syria Sunni, Syria American, Syria Iranian, Syria, any Syria you want. Western are very genius. Those people, they don't understand any language except violence. Is it strong? They behave. The minute they see that he is dying, everybody want to put his knife in the cow. It is reality. And I challenge anyone to say this is not true. Why Saudi Arabia is still intact together? Saudi Arabia, there's many, many problems inside. There's many tribes that hate each other. There's many tribes against each other. There's many tribes, Shia, Sunni. There's hatred. There's a, there's a tribe who believe they should be the real family. What, what What is making Saudi Arabia still intact together? Because they are terrorists. The royal family are terrorists. Anyone open his mouth, what they will do to them? Do you know what they did to Khashoggi in Turkey? Anyone remember? They made him shish kebab. Literally. So even if you are abroad, in different country, they will send their men to cut you pieces and grind you in the grind machine and let your skin and meat go in the sewage. Until now, they could not find the guy. This is the Middle East. Why the Muslims don't go and strike in the street for a killing machine happening in Syria for the last 15 years? If we look at Syria, Look, those uh, human rights and Tifa, and you know, they are uh, upset only for Gaza. Other people, they don't, mm, it's okay. You know, their human rights get activated by Qatar when they want. This is Syria. Dust. Dead cities. And by the way, all of this because of Islam. Wherever the garbage the Islamist goes and the filth of Qatar goes, this is what happened. This country was fine, everything was fine. And then Qatar pumped a lot of money to the Islamist. And the Islamist will not accept a president who is not a Muslim Sunni. Jihad. And the war started. And where is the money coming for the war? Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, and then our friendly Muslim neighbor Barack Obama if you remember McCain John McCain the scumbag he went to Syria and he took pictures with the he called them rebels the terrorists of Syria the Mujahideen who burn churches you know kill Christians uh, uh, John McCain even he defend them they said to him so how come they were shouting Allah Akbar next to you he said oh Allah Akbar in Arabic means God is a great <laughs> You see, well, Allahu Akbar when they want, it is terrorist. Allahu Akbar when they want, Allah I mean uh, Allah is a great, you know. They are not terrorists, those are friendly. What are you talking about? Those are very peaceful protesters, you know. Are you kidding me? This is why we have to give them missiles and rockets and tanks 
because simply they are uh, peaceful. What's wrong with you? Do you think really those people, they are, uh, you know? And by the way, a lot of pictures you see in the internet is fabricated. Like, you know, you see a picture like this child here, you know, you know, fake pictures. And, you know, people believe the same as in war now, like in Gaza, tons of fabricated pictures. They put a child with the makeup in his face and dirt and etc. And the guy, he opened his mouth and there's a dust behind. You know, remember, Photoshop is very wonderful. I can be back 17 years old, even though I'm 19 now, uh, by Photoshop. This is why these days uh, women, they prefer Chinese phones. I mean, she just go back 20 years just by opening the app in her phone. So, but is the war real? Absolutely. Did hundreds of thousands of people die? It's true. What is the reason? You will find always the reason behind all of this garbage is Islam. Wherever Islam goes, disease, plague, death come with it. Prove me wrong. They cannot live in peace. The religion of Islam is the problem. When the stupid American and the stupid European, France and etc., they want democracy to Syria. They want what? Democracy. Okay. If you have democracy in Syria, what does that mean? Oh, people, they elect what they want. Oh, okay. And then what? If somebody decides to leave Islam, we chop his head. That is their democracy. People, they decide what they want. If somebody is a gay, they will kill him. If somebody is an atheist, they will chop his head. Is that what you are seeking? What, what, what do you mean by democracy? They did the same in Algeria. Algerian government. France put a lot of pressure on Algeria to go for election. It's time for election. Enough dictators. Then the election happened. And who is the one who won? The terrorist. Suddenly France don't want such a government. And the war started. How many people get killed? More than a million. Islamist. Every single one who speak in the name of Islam, even the one who speak to you with a friendly face, if you put them in office, immediately death will come. So as you see, Islamists, wherever they go, war is started. And then who is killing who? Muslim killing Muslims. But nobody complain. Erdogan, he made a speech one day against the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. He called him a criminal. He want to bring him to court. Correct? You remember? As soon Erdogan, his country in need of money, Erdogan is kissing the ass of Saudi Arabia. We forgot everything. Money. He was barking like a dog, non-stop. All of this to get paid. The Crown Prince found it hard to forgive Mr. Erdogan attitude after the murder, suggesting that the prince was directly responsible. Look who is going to who, who, who will forgive who? <laughs> the murderer. <laughs> the one who killed the guy. He's not responsible. Are you kidding me? He have no idea what's going on. Those are my men. They go kill people in the street without telling me. I'm just a crown prince. It's true, every important decision have to come through me. But you know what, Erdogan, it's hard to forgive you. Kiss, kiss my shoes, kiss my shoes. Erdogan, he just uh, a week ago, he called the same to Israel. Crime, uh, you know, we will announce Israel as a criminal. Just wait. Six months, eight months from now, he will come to Israel, he will kiss their ass. Who want to bet? You want to bet? Will not even take him a year maximum. Erdogan, the same guy who is now so angry. Do you know why? Because he knew what is the consequence of being you know, the, the, the enemy of Israel. Actually, I saw a video already. Netanyahu threatened 
Erdogan that we are going to support your enemy. I can look for the video on Biden. If you notice, when they have a march for Israel in Washington, D.C., who is the ambassadors was in the front? Cyprus and Greece. Do you see the message? Which means the Israelis saying to him, behave yourself or else. We can arm your enemy with the most advanced weapon. They can make your ship go down and sink like cockroaches. 300,000 they march in Washington DC for Israel. And two foreign ambassador, Greece and Cyprus. I am sure you know that this is not what was not a coincidence. It was a big flag for those like Erdogan. Be careful. If you notice that when Putin he announced that he support Hamas, three days after the foreign minister of Israel he went to Ukraine. It's very strange, isn't it? to go to Ukraine in the time like this. So Israel, my friend, is not somebody you can play with. They can screw you up. This is why Erdogan, he is a mute now like a dog. This is a country, whatever happened in October 7, because of a stupid technology, they bent on it, but still they are the best in technology, the best in weapon, and they are very powerful army. In fact, even America, most of our technology here depend on Israeli scientists. And then they bring this idiot and he want to school us about a human right. A person who is running himself from his own land because there is a zero human right in it. 